Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day, somebody sent me this circuit board and wanted to trace it. Well, it doesn't trace good because one, the lighting, you know, you know, maybe you could uh, trace part of it. You know, we might even try that because uh, this thing is really throwing it off. This lighting. Let's try this. Let's try selecting the item, going up to your crop tool, and let's let's crop out that little part of the circuit board. And then let's go to trace. See what it does. We're not going to change it to a bitmap. We're going to take the time. But it, semi trace is okay. I'm going to up the detail and it just doesn't just doesn't trace. And for some reason the trace is on the bottom. So I found a clip art for a circuit board off the internet. And it's not bad. You could possibly use it after you clean it up a little bit. Uh, and if we look back on this one, there's a lot of repetitive circuit boards that they drew. Uh, this one right here is the same one as this one right here. So you wouldn't have to draw so much, you could just move stuff around. You know, these or this exactly the ones here you know, I, I noticed a couple just looking like those are identical. But I don't know if, you know, if you're trying to make a spear, but I found a, a spear one. This would be super easy to me to draw. And you could play around with it and do a lot of different things. So I thought I'd just go over how I would attempt to draw it. Um, let's set our nudge factor and get this thing out of the way. And then just draw an ellipse. Well, let's make that our center square. And really, the round, the first one was round. It'd probably be better to do it round. Let's you get the ellipse and make that our center, and then control D and make a duplicate, holding down the shift key and grow it, and then we'll hit P on both of them to put them in the center of the page. Because if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I like drawing in the center of the page. And then just start drawing. Um, I don't know what that is right there. Anyway, just take your two-point line and just come out from that center line and go up. And in this case, I'm going to actually chain my drawing tool with nothing selected. I'm going to go ahead and make it black. I always draw in hairlines. So I'm just double-clicking. I'm going to draw in like three points and make it black. We can always make them thicker or thinner but it might help you along with the video to be able to see. And then just draw a line. You can hold down the control button. And then just draw another line and let go and then control up. You know, you could come straight off. Well, that's not straight off. If you'll hold down the control button, you'll get straight off and then go up. And you could branch off here. You know, just do whatever you want. It would, it's going to be your control board. Then it's very easily to, and I, th I think one I did earlier was better. I have some uh, branches off that are actually better than this, but you get the idea. And then if that's thick enough, I would go ahead and make it a little bit thicker per se. Let's make this one four points. Uh, make it, let's make it eight. And then just take a, a round circle and make it eight. And just put them on the edge of that. And if you want them in the center, just put them in the center. Hit your plus key. Hit your plus key. And you'll see why I've got things in the center. Now, this is, I'm not a, I have no clue about uh, circuit boards or whatever, but this is actually a, well, we can't do that because we came off that little off. So let's just extend that up. There's some bigger ones and littler ones in the drawing. So if you call that good, then you can just take your virtual sigma delete key and, and delete that inside line. Now, what's so good about this, you don't have, we need one more. So we're just going to make a duplicate, control D, or I just hit the plus key and do the same thing as that way that's in the center. And then just draw some smaller ones. I'm actually going to take this away. And 
I'm going to use the one I previously drew. Just to, some of the video won't be so long. And put that in the center of the page. You see, I have some little ones and some big ones. And if we, if we group this together, control G, and then hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then lift it up, we actually want that center one in the center. Go to that quadrant. Now, with it ungrouped, you could come off the center, so we're going to ungroup it. And if you'll take your shape tool and grab, well, I evidently don't have that ungrouped. Well, it's picking up the circle. So I'm going to go to object and lock the circle. So now I can't grab the circle anymore. Normally, your outside layer is always going to take a take over. <clears throat> I need to go to object and group and ungroup these. Then just take your shape tool and holding down the control button, bring these straight down. Look, sometimes the shape tool will do that if you click on it twice, it'll actually take that note away. Doesn't matter how long these are, because we're gonna trim we're gonna trim them off. Then we could go ahead and trim them off now or later with the virtual segment delete key the circle stopping them from going. And because we're drawing in the center of the page, I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little bit differently. Now let's just make one of these sucker, sucker boards out in the middle somewhere. Control G to group that together, Control D, and we'll put this guy, maybe like even put it at an angle. Now we need circles on the end of it like I have there, and I'm not going to worry about what size right now. You'd want them both the same size. So I've got an outline. I'm going to fill it in and take the outline away. And then they should click right to it, and because they're filled, uh, you don't have to worry about deleting stuff. And another, I'm going to show you one more thing before I rotate this guy. Uh, that made it pretty easy drawing and getting this angle. And if, because I think they're all kind of equal. So that looks pretty good. Now, just to draw another one real quick, all I did on this circuit board, I drew a two point line holding down the control button. And then I came off of it and then came back up with it. Now this one, I'm gonna make it a thinner line because I'm gonna make it have that match those other ones, maybe a little bit thicker. <clears throat> and then what you can do is take your nudge factor, get away from that five inches and go like 0.1 and hit the plus key on your keyboard and just move it over and up. Now, if you control D that, it'll keep going. Now, if you don't want them all you know, if you want them all even at the bottom and, and done like that at the top, just take a two-point line and go across here, holding down the control button so it's perpendicular. Now, now this is where I wish I had my uh, hairline back. Now we can just delete all these lines, take that line away, and now we're even. Now let's take a little dot. and just put it in here. And because we're using the, the same distance, we can just mirror them over or nudge them over. Now these are gonna be a little bit different, so we're gonna nudge them here, see if this works. Let's hit the plus key over and up, plus key over and up, plus key over and up, plus key over and up. And if we did that with the uh, duplicate key, it would uh, do them all. So now let's try this. Control D and duplicate it, or Control G to group it. Control D to duplicate it. And let's double click on it and pull the rotation to the center. And let's rotate it 90 degrees. Now, it's not, well, I'm not in the center for one reason. It should duplicate it perfectly. Oh, 
from war. I didn't get into the center. They'll rotate at 90 degrees. <clears throat> and you've kind of got, you know, almost half of it done. You would want to add some more and maybe, you know, maybe not a duplicate it 90 degree. Now you're going to say, well, that's just a repetitive pattern. But if we put it like at 90 degrees and flip it, and then, of course, you're going to have to do some trimming. But if we put it, well, we don't have to rotate anymore. See, now we don't have a duplicate. Well, we do, but it's reversed. And what you can do is just bring this one in. Doesn't have to be as long because you can use virtual segment delete key. And then that way it's going to throw it off a little bit. So that circle is stopping it from uh, cutting anymore. And if you, you know, so if you added some more in there and it kind of takes the eye away from the duplication and you could completely change them, you know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like if we wanted to, now break this apart, ungroup it, and just look to see what we could do. We could take the shape tool, or we actually have to ungroup this. We could take the shape tool and completely change this guy. You know, move this over further, you know, move it up here, move this. You almost have to have the pick tool to move that, but so you could. It doesn't have to be a duplicate. You know, you could move this down. Um, just change it from the original so it doesn't really exactly match. You know, like right here. Just make that, this one longer. And then take your circle and just do it there and then get the virtual segment delete key. And it's not a match, but it took you a lot less longer to draw it. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and thank you for watching.